Here it's a 10-2 lead for the Giants. Third inning, Amy G with a guest. All right, gentlemen, here he is, Madison Bumgarner. Thanks for joining us. Let's uh, settle fans up first with uh, how you're feeling, because I know you're dealing with some nerve irritation in your foot and some rib cage issues. But how, how are you holding up? Uh, terrible. I feel terrible. No, I feel, I actually feel really good now. Everything's coming around and, and healing up pretty quickly. So I uh, get to throw tomorrow. So only missed the one start. And, you know, excited to, to get out there and, and get back into the routine of things. I know it was kind of scary for fans to hear that there, you may have to skip two starts with what you're dealing with. You only had to skip one. Um, with that said, tomorrow, when you go into these games in spring training, do you set your own goals? Are you talking with your with your coaches? And are you where you want to be? And where is that? Well, I mean, it, it just depends. Right now, it's just about just about getting ready for the season. So, you know, regardless of the results, you just want to. You know, pitch counts the main thing. Getting up and down a few times, uh, getting out there and, and, and elevating your pitch count. And you know, ideally, you would like to be getting outs when you're doing it. But you know, just just being ready is uh, is the main main purpose right now. So uh, you can't read too much into those things. Has that has that mentality come to you over time, Madison? I mean, just being able to. Uh realize that this is a, a really a work in progress spring training yeah you know once you get you know established I guess you you can use spring training for what it's for which is getting ready for the season you don't have to come into spring training in mid-season form trying to show off and, and show what you can do so you know it gives you a little more of a break and you know your body don't take quite the toll that it would doing it that way but at the same time, you know, you're going out here and competing and you want to you want to be ready to get guys out from the get go. So you got to understand both sides of it. Um, let's talk a little bit about some of those young prospects. And it feels really weird to ask you about young prospects because you're so young. But let's start with with Trevor Brown and you've been throwing to him this spring. He's going to catch for you tomorrow. Uh, what can you tell fans about what he's been able to do and accomplish uh, so early in his career? I mean, He's uh, he's a really talented catcher. You know, that's his uh, that's his game. But he, he he can swing it pretty good too. But he's smart, smart player, and, and puts in the work and, and wants to be good and wants to get better. So I mean, that's you can't ask for anything else from a, from a young guy coming up. You know, he, he's uh, he's trying to learn and, and surpass that learning curve by you know trying to speed everything up and, and gain all the knowledge that he can get. He seems to have won over the trust of the staff too, which isn't always easy to do. No, yeah, it, yeah, especially with the with the kind of pitching that we have here and, and the track record that we've had. But you know, that's, that's why he puts the time in that he does and, and and works on his catching because for us pitchers, that's our that's our main deal. You know, I don't care if the catcher ever gets a hit as long you know as long as he can do his job behind the plate. You know, that's that's what they're asked for, and and, and he uh, you know he, he handles that really good. So today's March 18th. When do you start getting into Milwaukee mode, opening day? I mean, probably not until after after my last start. There's, you know, you don't want to get too far ahead of yourself. You know, like I said, it's just about making sure your arm and body's ready, ready for that. And there's something to be said for, you know, it don't matter how hard you try to make these games like a regular season big league game it just it's just not the same you know so it, you know, there's no way you can trick yourself into having that mentality it's just it's just a different atmosphere different different game and, and everybody knows what you're here for so you know there's no secret about it lastly we have to know what inspired the haircut and shave which is coming back well yeah I, yeah I'm gonna grow my beard back but the haircut I just I got tired of fooling around with it. It was way too much work. Tell me about it. Yeah. Now we're talking the same I'm, language. I'm with you. It's terrible. It's not worth it at all. Madison Bogner, thanks for joining us.